All right, guys, welcome back. Day two. Oh, that's four. Day two. <laughs> All right. We are still talking about how fossils can tell us about the past and what we can learn from them. So fossils and living organisms. One way that paleontologists learn about extinct animals and plants is by comparing them to the plants and animals that exist today. So fossils can show how plants and animals have changed over time. Many living things today are actually related to plants and animals from the past. Fossils show that some extinct plant species look like modern plants that we have today. For example, a horsetail fossil in a modern horsetail plant, um, some horsetail plants in the past grew past the size of trees. But today, those horsetail plants are much smaller, which suggests that the plants have eventually just changed over time. So here is a fossil of a horsetail plant, and here is a modern horsetail plant. So as you can see, the shape of the leaves and the way that they are spread out has changed just slightly, but these are still the same plant. But because we have fossils of horsetail plants, we can compare them to our modern horsetail plants and see how they've changed and how they're similar. Fossils also show that Earth's environment has changed. So for example, scientists in Kansas have found the remains of sea animals called ammonites. Kansas is not near any oceans, friends. It is not near any oceans. It is two states above Texas. So here's Texas, Oklahoma, and then Kansas, and there is no ocean around it. Ammonites are related to modern squids, but they died out about 65 million years ago. So how in the world was there a fossil of an ammonite in Kansas if Kansas is nowhere near water? So another example, in South Dakota, scientists discovered fossils of giant sea turtles that lived about 7 million, 70 million years ago and are now extinct. So fun fact about South Dakota, also no water. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, South Dakota absolutely no water. It is further north than Kansas is, and there is no ocean around it. South Dakota is not near any oceans either, so this tells us that Kansas and South Dakota were both once completely covered by the ocean. Isn't that crazy? Because how else would those fossils have gotten there? Squids didn't, you know, plop their tentacles all the way to Kansas from Texas, where the ocean is now, where you can get to the ocean. Pretty crazy, right? So fossils can tell us all kinds of cool things about the past just by studying them. All right, guys, that is it for day two. I will see you on Thursday for day three. Have a great rest of your day.